Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. What we did earlier was we talked about magnification. And we said that magnification is just basically to enlarge the specimen size. And we also said earlier that light has a wavelength of about 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Just a bit of revision, 400 nanometer is violet, 700 nanometer is red light. Always never lose sight of that. You must remember that. Now comes the most, I would say for this chapter at least, the most confusing concept, which is the concept of resolution. A lot of students, especially when I'm teaching them, they'll, they'll look at the textbook definition and they'll be like, yeah, I don't understand that. What does that even mean? Now, resolution in the textbook basically says the ability to distinguish or separate between two separate points. And a lot of students just basically go, eh, okay, what does that even mean? Uh, oh, another definition that you can also include in the exam is the sharpness or detail of an image. So, what, so let's understand or let's explore this concept a little bit. A very important thing to understand about the resolution of light microscopes. is basically this. The resolution of light microscope, or I'm just going to put resolution, RES, equals to the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave divided by 2. So if they ask you to calculate the resolution, okay, the resolution using violet light, it basically means 400 divided by 2 equals to 200 nanometers. That's a very simple calculation, but it does not answer the question. What does it even mean that it has a resolution of 200 nanometers? And for resolution, the smaller the number, the better. I'll explain why. Let's imagine a situation over here. And the situation is as such. You are viewing a specimen under a microscope. And the specimen is as such. The actual specimen looks very uh, simple. It is just uh, two simple dots. And the two simple dots over here are 500 nanometers apart. We're going to ask a very simple question over here. What do we see? Yes, this is very important. Okay, what do we see? Do we see it as two separate spots or do we see it as one spot? If you're using a light microscope. Yes, you will still see it as two separate points. Now, why do you see it as two separate points? The reason you see it as two separate points is because light, if you remember, has a maximum resolution, this is going to put max res, of 200 nanometers. So anything 200 nanometers and above, light is able to distinguish between the two separate spots over here. Now, if you don't understand this, let's try another example. The actual specimen is now, ha, huh, this is where it becomes interesting. The actual specimen is now 100 nanometers apart. But what do we see using in our eyepiece? When we are viewing it under the eyepiece over here, we are looking at it. Do we see it as two separate spots or do we see it as one spot? See, here's where it becomes a little odd. You will only be able to see it as a single blob over here. Now, why is that so? Why don't you see two separate spots? Is that 
detailed? No, it's not detailed because this is the detailed image. But this one over here, what you see is not detailed at all. What gives? Why does this happen? This happens because the two spots are less than 200 nanometers apart. And because they are less than 200 nanometers apart, what happens? Light waves are unable to resolve the image. Therefore, in this case, it is less sharp or basically less detailed. That's what that means. So we have a problem. Problem number one, light microscope over here. It's unable to visualize extremely small specimens. An example of this extremely small specimen that I told you before was the ribosome. Because why couldn't it resolve the ribosome? Because the ribosome was too small and remember the light wavelength? It just basically, the ribosome is, in this case, the ribosome is unable to interrupt light. So we have the first problem over here. Number two, it's unable to resolve any specimen smaller than 200 nanometers. Now, a lot of students think that if you're not able to resolve anything smaller than 200 nanometers, it means you're not able to see it. Uh, it does not mean that. You might still be able to see something. Like, for example, let's say, let's say uh, in this case, you have two specimens over here. You have two specimens over here under the microscope. The only issue is the two specimens are 180 nanometers apart. But the problem is when you're using the light microscope, what we might see is we might just see it as a single blob over here. So it is less detailed. So it's not sharp. You're not able to study the specimen in detail. That's the problem with light microscopes. They, 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 work, they have some advantages, by the way. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, bashing light microscopes. There is a time and place to use light microscopes, definitely. However, they do have their own shortcomings. So we're going to be talking about the differences in resolution between red light and violet light, because Sometimes students get a little bit confused when they're comparing the resolution between two different colors. Now, this is a bit of reference for you. What is the meaning of resolution, by the way? Resolution is just basically the ability to distinguish between two separate points. That's what we discussed earlier. And remember, red light will have a resolution of 350 nanometers. How did I get 350 nanometers? If you remember, red light has a wavelength of 700 nanometers and it's divided by 2. That is the formula. So what does it mean by a resolution of 350 nanometers? This means that red light has the ability to distinguish two separate points which are 350 nanometers and higher. Violet light, however, has a resolution of 200 nanometers. And if you remember, violet light has a wavelength of 400 nanometers divided by 2, and you will get a resolution of 200 nanometers. Basically, it means that violet light is able to distinguish separate points of 200 nanometers and higher. And I did ask uh, in an earlier question, which light has a better resolving power or which light ha provides better resolution? And I did say that violet light is better than red light in producing a more detailed image under the microscope. How is that so? Let's see. Here we have two circles and the circles basically show us our eyepiece of the light microscope. This is our eyepiece of the light microscope and we will be viewing a particular image based on an actual specimen. Now the actual specimen is, let's for example just say there are two bacteria over here. The bacteria are those orange color 
circles over there, okay, that you can see two bacteria. And for example, these two bacteria are, I'm just going to put a distance, these two bacteria are 500 nanometers apart. If we view this bacteria under the light microscope using red light, will we see two bacteria or will we see a shapeless blob? We will see two bacteria over here for the red light and we will also see two bacteria for the violet light. So this is said to be a detailed image. Why does this mean that this is a detailed image? Because in reality, there were two bacteria, which are 500 nanometers apart, and when we viewed it under the microscope, we are able to see the two bacteria. So the image is clear. Now, why are we able to see two bacteria using red light or using violet light? The reason is because, like I said earlier, if you remember, red light has a this ability, red light has a ability, red light has an ability to distinguish between points which are 350 nanometers and higher. So because the bacteria is 500 nanometers apart, red light has the ability to distinguish them. So is violet light, by the way. What if we have two bacteria viewed under the microscope and the bacteria are actually 300 nanometers apart? This is where it becomes interesting. If you were viewing this specimen under red light, you will not be able to see the two bacteria. Instead, you will see a shapeless mass. You're unable to distinguish the two separate points over here. So you will not be sure of what you're exactly looking at. Are you looking at one bacterium or are you looking at two bacteria in this case? Reason is because the actual distance of the bacteria is 300 nanometers and red light can only resolve things which are 350 nanometers and higher. Anything below 350 nanometers, red light becomes a little bit useless. You're still able to see something, but you're not exactly sure what you're looking at. That's why we say it's less detailed. However, with violet light, you're still able to see it as two separate points. You are able to see, hey, there are two bacteria over there because their distance is 300 nanometers apart and violet light can distinguish anything 200 nanometers apart and higher. So in this case, red light gives you a less detailed image, violet light gives you a more detailed image. Even though both of them are being viewed under the same magnification. And let's try one last experiment over here. Now we have two bacteria being viewed under the microscope and the two bacteria are about 100 nanometers apart. If we were to view this bacteria under red light, we will see it as one shapeless blob. And if we were to view it under violet light, we will also see it as one shapeless blob. We are not exactly sure what we are looking at. Why is that so? Because the actual distance of the two bacteria are 100 nanometer apart. Red light has a resolution of 350 nanometers and higher. Violet light has a resolution of 200 nanometers and higher. Both these lights are unable to resolve anything lower than 200 nanometers, and therefore they are unable to distinguish two separate points which are 100 nanometers apart. So in this situation, because the distance of the bacteria is 100 nanometers apart, using light microscope will give you a less detailed image. And scientists in this case will be concerned because they, won't, they will be wondering, am I actually looking at one bacterium? Am I looking at two bacteria? What exactly am I looking at? Light microscope has now reached its limit and we need a better microscope. We need a better solution.